come out about to see one of the youngsters we talked about he's 20 years of age his name michael covington from trenton new jersey a pro record of 3-0 he will take on Gennaro anduhar in a six round lightweight bout so we're set to go for the introduction of the fighters right now let's go up to ring announcer steady eddie darian from the big apple new york city's magnificent paramount here at Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, as Madison Square Garden Boxing. Bob Goodman, Vice President of Boxing and Matchmaker, and Pat Fleming, Assistant Matchmaker, and is approved by the New York State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Randy Gordon Chairman. The judges, Jack DeCesar, Al DeFaris, and Carol Castellano. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled six-round junior welterweight belt, referee Fred Yusey. Introducing first in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at an even 137 pounds. Professionally, he has four wins, four losses, one draw, with one knockout. From the Bronx, New York, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Gennaro Anduha. Anduha. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the gold trim. He tipped in at an even 139 pounds. This young man is undefeated in three pro bouts with two knockouts. From the New Jersey State Capital of Trenton, ladies and gentlemen, here is Michael Covington. Covington. So our opening bout of the evening, Michael Covington, Gennaro Andujar, third man in the ring is referee Fred Yusey, and the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission in effect tonight, scoring done on a 10-point bus system, three judges score the fight, the ref does not, standing eight count is in effect, the three knockdown rule is in effect, and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Michael Covington, Gill, highly publicized, big prospect. Bruce, he really is a good, solid, professional prospect. And his opponent, Gennaro Andujar, born in Puerto Rico, now living in the Bronx. Pretty good amateur also. 1987 New York Golden Gloves champion, the 125-pound novice division. So it's Covington in the white trunks with the gold trim, and a good right hand quickly by Michael Covington. And a nice combination by Covington. Andujar in the black trunks with the red trim. Andujar started out very, very aggressively, Bruce. Then a couple of good, solid punches. There's a jab from Covington. Keep those punches up there, Black. Now, no such thing as a feeling out process here. Both fighters winging right from the opening bell. And you can expect that with young fighters. <laughs> Michael Covington, 78 and 7 as an amateur, two national titles, three time New Jersey Golden Gloves champion. What Andrew Hart is going to have to do in this fight is to get underneath Covington's left jab and try to nail him with left hooks. Outside, Covington is the taller guy. And you can see that he has the hit the hand speed. Pretty good exchange there. And again, Andrew Hart gets through. And a yelling from Covington's corner deal to double up on the jab. He went through round one, scheduled for six. And a good left hand landed there by Covington. And you see warning and hard to keep the punches up. snappy jab at a time. If he keeps that up, Andujar's going to be able to time that left hand. A right hand landed by Covington. I see some blood dripping from the nostrils of Covington. Both fighters have eaten a lot of leather in the first three minutes. Solid jab landed there by Covington. It definitely has blood streaming from both nostrils now. Well, Andujar isn't backing off at all. Andujar's a good, tough, solid young kid. Final 
seconds of an exciting round one. Andujar landing the right. seem like much, but believe me, those nine fights make a big difference. Covington's last bout and TKO in the first round over Wayne Christian in New Jersey on October 20th. And again, you see Covington throwing one left jab at a time. And that time he landed a right. Andrew was moving and nothing really hurt him. Andujar is right in front of Covington. I guess that's the place he wants to be. Just try to turn this into a little bit of a brawl. That would benefit Andujar. Again, Covington's the taller guy with the faster hands. Keep those up. Keep them up. He's hitting low. But thus far, Covington has been unable to take advantage of the movement and the jab. And again, a lot of blood flowing from the nostrils of Michael Covington. <laughs> A chopping right hand landing to the side of Andujar's head. Minute to go in the second round. Good left foot to the body by Covington. And a solid shot upstairs by Covington. And that's what happens when you land those body punches. Those guy drops his hands, you can hit him on the chin. And also those body punches tend to stick with you, don't they, for a while? Well, in a lot of rounds, they can add up. Nice combination by Michael Covington. Starting to find the range, but he forgot to put his hands up when he walked in. You know, boxing with things happy with my uh, work. That's a no-no. <laughs> Battling back. Two good rounds of action. Covington finally starting to find the range. Let's take a look at this combination. Right hand always follow it with the left hook. That's what we tell these guys in the gym, and they so it pay off. Third round scheduled for six. Michael Covington, white trunks. Gennaro Andujar in the black trunks. And both fighters are showing somewhere. A big right hand by Covington. The biggest bomb he's thrown in the fight. Andujar backing up for the first time. Covington landing again. Andujar in trouble and Frank Yusey steps in. Andrew Hart battling back, trying to hammer at the 
body of Covington. Covington missing wildly. And now goes back to work. This is a good, solid fight. And we mentioned before when Daniel Hart got hurt and was dropped, and he got up, or excuse me, the standing eight count. By the way, he came back winging punches. And the way both of these guys were throwing him, you get beat to the punch, down you go. A wild third round, 50 seconds, silver go. Get out of First it was Andrew Hart who was dropped, then Covington. energy left after the knockdown. Another big right hand by Andrew, huh? And with his experience, Bruce, the longer this fight goes, it should be to his advantage. And he's landing some solid, solid punches, and so is Covington. Covington off the break. 20 seconds to go in the round. Covington backing up Andrew Hart again, but missing. Here's the experience. Just tie him up if you can. Seconds of the third round. That again, screaming for the nose of Covington. Go ahead. And that will do it to the third, and the fighters don't want to hear that bell. What a round. You know, you know what's happening. You're Andrew Hall was the one okay? who showed you the hand. first. Suck it up, Mike. Just suck it up. Yeah, with a good right hand, got himself in trouble. But again, that eight keep count your hands gave up. his head. If you keep your hands up, I've never been an advocate of the standing eight up. count. I've had right, many an argument with Commissioner him. Gordon, but there was watch one he case right there where it certainly right? helped the fighter. Come on. Come on. Keep still. Keep still. Keep still. Keep still. 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 And here you can see Covington operating on Andrew Ha, has him on wobbly legs. Notice Andrew Hart is still throwing punches. And again, the referee steps in. And this eight count just an out allowed Andrew Hart to clear his head. He came right out throwing punches. Now the knockdown of Covington. Right, now you watch the both throw punches. And again, Andrew Hart beats him to the punch. We move to the fourth round, scheduled for six. Lightweight, Michael Covington undefeated. And Gennaro Andrew Hart. Experience of the two professionals. Covington managed by James Down and trained by Jody Ballard. He's in for the fight of his young career. He got Andrew He got nailed with two solid punches by Andrew Hart. Here's a combination. A quick one, too. And Covington is starting to swell under his left eye. Andrew Hart's been swelling since early on. He's got a big mouse under his left eye. Solid jab. But again, it's one. Right. One jab at a time. If he doubles up that jab, he's going to be able to push Andrew Hart back. Covington's got a little bit of boxing in this round. Well, he's taking advantage of his height. And that's good snappy jab. Once again, Andrew Hart turning it into a war in the middle. Let him go, let him go. Come on. That's let what he wants. Andrew Hart, a Puerto Rican champion as an amateur. Four, four, and one as a pro. Good right hand by Andrew Hart. Let him go. Keep your arms free. Keep your arms free. Thank you. She separates the fighters. And again, you can see Andrew Hart timing that left jab of Covington. Covington snapped the jab out, and Andrew Hart threw a right hand right over that jab. There it is again. Andrew Hart got in again and landed to the chin. And a left hand landed by Covington. And a right hand by Andrew Hart. It's back and forth. <laughs> Let's see if he keeps this up. Pick whichever name you want. <laughs> you can't make a mistake. <laughs> the throw's 
so many punches. Now off the ropes. Andy Bar shows us an uppercut. We haven't seen many of those punches. Covington coming after him. Blood in the face of Covington. A big right by Covington. And Andrew Harris hurt. You see that experience? He knows enough to grab the opponent to walk him around. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Final seconds of the round. Remember, a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round in New York State. Coming to working as the bell comes. Let's take a look at that big right hand by Covington. Fernando Hall on wobbly legs again. And I think that was a close round, but I think that big right hand gave the round to Covington. I agree with you. Fifth round of a six-round bout. Bruce Beck and Gil Clancy with you for Madison Square Garden's Paramount. All right, step back and break, man. And Bruce looking at both fighters when they return to their corners. It seems that Covington is the less tired of the two. And Michael Covington putting together a combination. Throwing punches and bunches now. Backing up to Nero Andujar. Those ropes are just holding him up, and that is it. Decision as referee Fred Yusey calls this fight off. And already in the fight, we saw Anwar show a good chin, and he is unhappy. And Bruce, I think that was a premature stoppage because every time Andy Hart got hurt, he did manage to punch back. As a matter of fact, he did manage to put Covington on the floor. And uh, despite the fact that uh, Covington was working him over pretty good with combination punches, I really didn't see any signs of distress in Andy Hart at all. And it's part of the thing of a boxer is the ability to come back. And if he's got that, and we've seen both fighters show it in this fight, if they can come back, they deserve to continue. Well, again, we have to stay in the eight count in New York. And I, I, again, I said I don't, I don't agree with it, but it could have served a useful purpose then. Let's take a look at Covington operating on India. That punch misses, slapping left hook. He's putting his punches together, but they really aren't big, solid punches. There was a pretty good left hook, nothing to it. And slips that punch, slip that punch, and I don't, I don't think there was that much damage. There, I think it was premature, Bill. I do too. I think there, were, and there were just two, two punches that, uh, and that whole flurry that uh, Covington landed at all, and none of them were dynamite punches. You can just see him slipping the punches, slipping, slipping around his neck, block the punch. There's his ring savvy, Andujar's. I think the fans are happy and, and I think they have a right to be displeased with the stoppage. This is what the fans wait for. They wait for a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. Covington will get the W. A lot of valuable experience from this one. Let's go up to ring announcer Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Fred Yusey stops this bout at 44 seconds of the fifth round and a winner by a TKO. The spoiler, Covington. Covington. And have a nice round of applause for Gennaro Andujar. So Michael Covington remains undefeated.